Winston Peters and Judith Collins have spent the day in Melbourne on a charm offensive. The foreign affairs and defence ministers were meeting with their Australian counterparts as the coalition government tries to strengthen its ties with our traditional Western allies. Well, our political reporter Amelia Wade has been following the pair. And Amelia, what was the main purpose of the trip? Well, Winston Peters and Judith Collins did spend the day attempting to charm their Australian counterparts, but the morning got off to a surprising start when Collins almost took out the Australian Deputy Prime Minister with a hot pink Mars Rover. This Barbie is a Mars Rover. I'm particularly enjoying the pink all over it. And this Defence Minister loves space and technology. <laughs> <laughs> She's in Australia as one half of the diplomatic duo alongside Foreign Affairs Minister Winston Peters. They're here to sidle up to their Aussie counterparts to strengthen ties with our only defence ally. We often speak about the challenging strategic circumstances we face. New Zealand's keen to dive into some details about Australia's submarine contract. We're here to find out much more as to how we can uh, understand it and potentially be seriously part of it. AUKUS is a three-way pact between Australia, the United Kingdom and United States. The three powers form what's called Pillar One, which is a pact to provide eight nuclear-powered subs, costing an estimated 368 billion Australian dollars by 2055. It's also a pact to work together in the Indo-Pacific, partly in response to China's military build-up. We are in the exploration phase because it's not defined as to what is in it, in it or not in it. Uh, and that's something that we're, you know, we're interested in going, you know, understanding more about it. New Zealand's expressed interest in Pillar 2, which is about developing and sharing advanced technology like AI and autonomy and advanced cyber and electronic warfare. But there are concerns joining any part of the submarine pact could breach our nuclear-free status and non-proliferation position. The only submarines that Kiwis like are yellow ones. We've got no interest in a next generation of nuclear weaponry or nuclear submarines. We're Australia is talking about nuclear-powered uh, submarines, not nuclear-armed submarines. Uh, so that is, that is not for change or there is no uh, movement on that whatsoever. But if there's movement in the White House and Donald Trump has returned to power when America votes this year, would our interest in AUKUS wane? With what happens in domestic politics in the US, our job, my job, is to make sure I can work with whoever is needed to advance New Zealand's interests. I'll continue to do that. And the first step has been sending in Winston Peters and Judith Collins to see if we can even get on board the AUKUS alliance. Well, OK, Amelia, that uh, press conference has just wrapped. So does Australia even want us to join the AUKUS submarine partnership? It appears so. The ministers have today agreed to have an Australian team travel to New Zealand to investigate what we could offer up for that Pillar 2 agreement. But the Australian Deputy PM was at uh, pains to stress that there are still a lot of details to work out before Pillar 2 could even be joined. We, we want to see runs on the board in relation to Pillar 2 between the three countries, Australia, the US and the UK. Uh, but in the, in the longer term, we're open to uh, the idea of Pillar 2 being open. The ministers also agreed for increased de defence interoperability, with all of them stressing just how complex and complicated the world was is becoming. The 2 plus 2 meeting, a strong show of unity to anyone who dares threaten our big blue continent. Amelia Wade there live from Melbourne, Tenakwe.